Did you make it your New Year's resolution to get more organized? Well, we have some great tips for you this morning. Emily Deem is live in Alloway with more. Hi, Em. Good morning, Rachel and Pete. Hi, everybody. Yeah, it's 2012, a new year, time to get organized. This morning, I have Angie and Becky who are here with me. They are friends. What Becky is doing is helping Angie get organized. We're in her kitchen. One area she really needed help in was her pantry. Angie, tell me what your husband and your father did to organize that. Yeah, we had just a closet by the back garage door, and we weren't really using it. It was just a catch-all for any thing that was laying around the house so my husband and uh, hus or husband and dad put shelves in it so we could turn it into a pantry like I've been seeing on Pinterest and wanted one for myself and that's a website where people can go and check out but Becky you went in and helped with some other things tell us what you helped Angie with well a lot of the things she had a lot of boxed goods um, but you really couldn't tell how many things were in there so we really um, converted it to a lot of clear storage and um, labeled everything with her handy little label maker that we got and um, now she can see everything at a glance and instead of having you know um, maybe boxes of cereal with only an inch left at the bottom she really can see what she needs um, for you know groceries and everything just at a glance and anyone can see anything it's really nice and open and we went vertical with it too and the circles that are on side mm -hmm. of the wall that you have written stuff on tell me about that Becky um, well at the top shelf of her um, pantry here has some extras and so she, to in order to um, not over by she uh, wrote on the circles what we have for the extras and then um, the menu plan for the week just to kind of have a nice little plan going on and then she has a cute little feed the soul <laughs> little quote on the nice bottom. scene mm -hmm. uh, I like you know how we vertical that's what we really talked about um, where are you finding this stuff because this is like the dollar store could be one great place. Tell everybody where you're finding stuff at. Absolutely. The very first thing you need to do is look in your own home. Look for things that you're not using. Look for baskets and bins. Um, you know, like she had the canisters. Look for things that you already have. Then go to the dollar store. Go to Target. Go to TJ Maxx. Um, just local places. Look in the sporting goods. Look all over the place. You don't need to buy specialty items to organize anything. Yeah, and come on over here then, Becky, by Angie and I again, and we'll show this thing that you said really <laughs> changed a lot of things. You were talking about the label maker, Angie. How has that changed stuff for you? I want to label everything. Becky said I'd want to label my kids, and it's true. <laughs> I might label them. <laughs> but that's a great way because you can actually see what's in it beforehand. And you said, what was this, like 17 bucks? Yep, 18, 17 bucks. So. That's awesome. Some great tips, Becky. Thank you so much. Angie, are you happy with the results? Oh, I'm thrilled. I can't wait till I start playing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, ladies. All right, you guys, we'll send it back to you. That's great. Thanks, Thanks Em. Em.